and Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on setting up SMS messaging on your non-cellular iPad. So Apple has provided a wonderful thing for Apple users called iMessage, and it allows you to use your non-cellular <clears throat> iOS devices to message with anyone who has another Apple product. But what about those Android friends you have? Um, you can only be messaging with them or texting with them on your iPhone or your cellular iPad if you have one. So we're gonna show you how you can communicate with them on your non-cellular iOS device um, through something called continuity. That's a feature that Apple um, brought out in iOS 8 that allows you to do a variety of different interaction things between your iPhone and your iPad and your Mac and your iPod Touch or whatever Apple devices you have. We're gonna take a look at the feature today that allows you to receive text messages from your Android friends. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna go in and set it up on our phone. So we're gonna go into the, message, or the settings app on your iPhone and we're gonna to go to Messages. And in Messages, you're gonna see something called Text Message Forwarding. And it, right below it, it tells you exactly what it's gonna do. It's gonna allow your iPhone text messages to also be sent and received on other devices signed into your iMessage account. So um, I happen to have a few different devices signed in and I have two of them turned on right now. And we're gonna go in and take a look at the two devices I have turned on. Um, I have my iPad on, which is right here in the background, and I have my iMac, which is um, upstairs, turned on. So when I'm sitting at my computer and working, or I'm working on my iPad somewhere, and my phone is um, not right in front of me, I'll be able to receive messages from everybody now on my um, iPad. So... This is how you turn them on or off. Notice that I have one other device that I'm signed into on iMessage um, that I don't have turned on. Um, this is my uh, a computer that uh, I don't really use very often and I also allow other people to use it. So I turned it off so that other people can't be seeing my text messages there. If I'm gonna be using it, I can go ahead and turn it on um, for the time period that I wanna use it. So I'll show you that right now because I'm gonna turn off my iPad. So right now, if I were to receive a message on my phone from someone who doesn't use an Apple product, it would not go through to my iPad. When I turn it on, you'll notice that a message came up on both my iPhone and my iPad. Um, the, the iPhone is saying enter the code shown on your iPad um, to allow text messages to be sent to the iPad. And the iPad is saying to send and receive from uh, your phone number and gives the phone number, then enter this code on it. They wanna make sure that you're setting this up on the right devices, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and punch in the code. And that's all there is to it. Now it's turned on. So I'm gonna move my iPhone out of the way here <clears throat> and show you in messages a couple of different things, how you can identify uh, the difference between iMessage and texting, okay? Now I have a list of messages over here on the left and um, first of all, if I go into one of them that is iMessage, what you're gonna see in the um, area where you type, it says iMessage. So we know that this is another Apple device that has the iMessage service. If I type in something in there, you'll also notice that the send button is blue. So blue means iMessage. I'm gonna to go to another one that is not an Apple product and you're going to see, first of all, the difference here where you type, it doesn't say iMessage, it says text message. So that's one way that you can identify the difference. You also notice that the bubbles that you are typing to these people are green. So if I type in something here, you're gonna see that the send button is green and when I send it, the bubble, oops, send, the bubble is also green. So green means SMS, um, non-Apple, and blue means Apple. So that is how you can set it up to receive um, text messages from your non-Apple friends on your non-cellular iPad. It would be the same on an iPod Touch, iPad, iPod Touch, excuse me. Um, and you can also set it up on your Mac as well. So um, we hope you enjoyed learning with Sync Sisters. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.